He give glory to the almighty God. Beloved, I welcome you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. My Lord and my God, and the almighty Jehovah, and the Spirit of God, this is another day that you have given us a breath. We thank you for allowing us to be alive today around the whole world, especially for your children. Your mercy has given us a life and we are thirsty of your word. Let your word come forth like a fire. Let your word come forth like a water to quench our thirst. Spirit of the living God, this is an empty vessel that you may use. And when all things are done, I will give you the glory and honor. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, God Almighty has given us a word. And the title of the message is the will of God. And without wasting time, let us go into the scripture. It's Matthew 6, and, and the verse is 10. Let's hear the word of God. Matthew 6, 10. Hallelujah. The kingdom, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Beloved, the will of God is to believe our Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior. The will of the father that he sent his only begotten son to die, to come and save us and die on the cross. That is internal life and a gift for mankind. That is salvation. Hallelujah. We continue with another scripture, which is John and the verse is 40. And then we will go to 44. And this is the will of him who sent me that everyone who see the son and believe in him may have everlasting life and I will raise him up at the last day, hallelujah. Beloved, it is God who can raise a dead person and it is internal life, it is in our Lord Jesus Christ. Only God that draw a person to himself through the father, that believe in him. Only Jesus Christ can raise a dead. As we all know, Lazarus was dead for four days. But God Almighty, our Lord Jesus Christ, the author of life, raised him from death. Hallelujah. That is the will of the Father. The will of the, the will of God. It's only Jesus Christ was made flesh and dwell among us and held his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. It is only Christ who is the light and the truth. The will of the Father is for us in Romans 12 and the verse is two. Let us read Romans 12, verse two, hallelujah. Romans 12, two says, and do not be conformed to this world, 
but transform by renewing your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Beloved, this is the will of God that we are not to conform to this world as this world is passing away. Here, the will of God is to set yourself apart for him in holiness and righteousness. The mind of our Lord Jesus Christ must be in us, whether it is a good time or a bad time, and to trust him. That is the perfect will of God. You have to be committed. And that is a relationship with the spirit of God on daily basis. Hallelujah. The will of God is God's knowledge as we have to know about the will of God. And it is the only Holy Spirit that have the nine gifts. And the knowledge is part of his gifts. So we have to desire. And also the wisdom and the spiritual understanding by the greatest teacher, which is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The will of God, we go to our last scripture, which is John, 1 John 5, 12. Let's hear the word of God in 1 John 5. Oh, we give him all the glory. Hallelujah. First John 5, 12. It says, He who has the Son has life. And he who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Beloved, it is the will of God to have our Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior. So the scripture we read, it is all about disobedience. If you does not believe in Christ as your personal savior, or you don't have Christ, then you are a disobedient child that you don't know the savior or the savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. It's not your savior. And as you don't have our Lord Jesus Christ, the soul is not his. And there is accountability. So where is the soul heading to? As without Christ. Hallelujah. And anything in this life that we live without Christ, everything is useless. Hallelujah. The will of God is all in all. He is the master. He is our savior. He is the author of life. The owner of life. Oh, we give him all the glory. I want to sing a song to glorify him. He's able, he's able to deliver. He's able, he's able to deliver. Mamazaya, he's able to deliver. Mamazaya, he's able. Oh, to deliver. He's able, he's able to deliver. Hallelujah. 
is able, is able to deliver. Me, me, Zaya, is able to deliver. Me, me, Zaya, is able oh, oh, to deliver. Hallelujah. The owner of life and the word was with God. We thank God Almighty, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for the will of God that mankind have received. The greatest gift of salvation, as it is unique and durable and wonderful, and a blessing to his children that believe in him. May he be praised. May he be honored. We give him all the glory for what God has given us, his only begotten son. Beloved, it is him alone that we have to worship and praise and to know him more and more as we are alive. Beloved, there is no time for us to fool around. The trumpet, is, the, the trumpet can sound any moment. And that day, where are we heading to? Except you know him. Have you given your life to him on that day? You will not bend your head down. Rather, you will raise your head up to look unto him, your master, your savior. So let us honor him. Let us be upon him daily with the fellowship with the Holy Spirit. We give God the glory. Spirit of the living God, we thank you because it is only Jesus Christ who saved. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ask or think, according to the power that worked in us. Now I pray the Spirit of God and power his ordained prophet, Kanewu, and the family be protected and be blessed for the work given unto him. Also, his viewers that avail themselves and listen to him daily, be also protected and be blessed. And for their hard desire, be met. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.